Former Arizona Senator Martha McSally, America's first female combat pilot, fighting off an attacker while jogging in Iowa. Surveillance video led to the arrest of the attacker overnight, but the combat veteran says it's taken a toll, bringing back difficult memories of being raped by a superior officer when she was in the service. Here's ABC's Faith Abube and a warning. The details of this story may be difficult. Tonight, the stunning revelation from former Arizona Senator Martha McSally, the first American woman to fly a fighter plane in combat. I was just assaulted while I was out running. I realize I'm still in an adrenaline state. I am okay. These chilling images from a surveillance video captured moments before the attack on Wednesday. Authorities say this is the suspect, following McSally closely along the Missouri River in Iowa. A man came up behind me and he engulfed me in a bear hug and he molested and fondled me until I fought him off. McSally says she then turned the tables, chasing him and throwing a water bottle at him before he ran off into a heavily wooded area. The suspect, 25-year-old Dominic Henton, arrested on a warrant overnight in Nebraska for assault with intent to commit sexual abuse. I was preyed upon and then raped by a superior officer. In 2019, McSally disclosed during a Senate hearing that she's a rape survivor from her time in the Air Force. Wednesday's attack, reopening old wounds. But in this case, I felt like I took my power back. He tried to take power from me, but I turned it on him and he was running from me. And Lindsay, police say the suspect will be extradited back to Iowa in the coming days to face criminal charges. Lindsay. Faith, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.